In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a great little counter to opponents that like to run shaded underneath man coverage. Uh, this is one of my favorite little plays right now out of the Detroit Lions offensive playbook. You can find this in other playbooks. Um, I'm going to give you two variations of this. One of them is out of our Gun Bunch ebook from the Washington playbook. Then the other one is going to be again out of Detroit. So, uh, what you want to do is you want to put your fastest tight end in the game. And if you guys want to get my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. And it gets you access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to um, learn a little bit more about how to run Bunch, make sure you join the Patreon. We've got, I think, 18 different offensive and defensive ebooks in there and three different variations of Gun Bunch. And we're working on our fourth different variation of this incredible formation. Now, the first play is Bench Pivot. This is found in our Washington Offensive eBook. You can utilize this play very similarly because it has this little angled corner route to the tight end. But the play I want to focus on is Smash Return. Um, and it's for another uh, two other routes in particular that are really good against man-to-man. -man. So it's good on the field here, Smash Return. And um, the setup is actually really simple. All we're going to do is in route our running back. Literally just in your running back, that's it. This is primarily for man coverage, okay? If your opponent is running a lot of zone, you wouldn't want to call this variation of the play. Um, there was, There's other things we can do to attack zone. We have a ton of those in the ebook, right? But this specific play is really good for man coverage primarily because of the route to Chris Godwin, the route to Otten, and the route to Jones. So what you're going to see here is this route to Chris Godwin is going to be like a speed drag, going across the middle of the field. Now, again, this is primarily for man-to-man -man coverage. Primarily for man-to-man -man coverage. So if you watch here, it's really glitchy. He's going to get this little instant win, and he can get over here quick, you know, for about 5 to 10 yards. Real simple, really effective against man-to-man. -man. Now, our next read on the play is going to be um, this little tight end corner. Uh, what you want to do is you want to high ball, and free form it over the top of him. So I'm actually holding L1 and left trigger, and I'm passing it essentially up and outside from where the linebacker is. This is really good, especially for shaded underneath man coverage. You'll see on that cut, that linebacker will kind of fall underneath him. It's going to leave that little window over the top, and you see how effective this can be. Put short and elite on that tight end, and he is going to cook man-to-man -man a lot. It's very effective against man-to-man. -man. Now, the next route on the play is this route to Julio Jones. This was actually a route that they uh, patched. And what you'll notice is this route now is a lot more effective against man coverage later in the read. So you'll see right here, um, I'm going to be in shaded down man again. And I just want you to watch um, the circle receiver. So we're going to have a little pick play from the back. The running back is obviously a read. You can hit him right there, but you get this route coming back across the middle, and it can be a pretty successful little route, especially, again, if you have the short in elite ability. That's the best ability, in my opinion, for consistently um, consistently attacking man-to-man, -man, okay? So, again, let me just shade underneath uh, and get a good little defense here. And what you'll notice is that if, the, if we have, um, you know, time... This route's going to get picked by the running back, and you can get this open late. So if they're playing all-out coverage, and they're trying to stop your corner route, and they're trying to stop everything that we can do from this play to beat man-to-man, -man, um, you know, you're going to be in good shape. So as you can see, we're able to beat man in a variety of ways. It's going to cause them to have to kind of really adjust their coverage, and it's a quick snap play. It's only one hot route. Your running back, like I said, is a really underrated read. Okay, you can always look to that. Obviously, I'm, I was throwing a bunch of zones over there, but that is a great read for you against man-to-man -man as well. So we're able to beat man. The last read on the play is this dig, this little speed in. You see right there, easy separation against man-to-man. -man. So this is one of the easiest ways to attack man coverage in the game. Um, against zone coverage, really the primary thing we want to do is we want to try to under attack with this route to Jones. So you're going to get a little pick, a little rub, and then you'll see right there. That's where you want to attack them, right in that little middle area. It's going to be very difficult for your opponent to defend this in zone because what they're going to do um, is they're going to try to stop your deep in route. That's going to be the route that they're going to automatically want to go to. If they go to that under route, you can throw that right there. So you see how this creates kind of almost like a little mesh uh, variation underneath in a lot of ways. 
And then last but not least, you have that little route right there. That's kind of a backbreaker route in this play. Now, if they're playing hard flats, you can throw this um, earlier on in the play. So you see right here, if I just wait on this, see there, I got that. And then I can also wait on that coming back across. This is also really good for um, this specific play. It's actually really good for double flat style um, of defenses. So if you get a defense that looks kind of like this, um, where they're trying to kind of really cover your corner routes and stuff, this is a great little play because the flats are going to get pulled out so bad and it leaves this route wide open in the middle of the field. Smash Return is one of the best man beating plays in the game. And if you want to learn more about the Gun Bunch offense, make sure you join our Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description down below. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. And uh, by becoming a member, you get access to everything all of our ebooks, all of our updates, and any new ebooks as well. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description below and click the link down in the description.